Hey guys, what's up? And this is John from John Henry Guitar Lessons. Just want to share uh, just a tidbit with you, just uh, some food for thought. Um, you know, it could be a generational thing that we're up against. It is a generational thing. Uh, I just want to recommend to those of you out there who are younger, who may not even consider it. I think the older generation, I'm in my mid thirties, I think maybe my age, a little younger and, and a, older would without a doubt think about buying buying music books to learn your favorite song um, I know the younger generation meaning if you're in your uh, teens early 20s or even you know uh, not even in your teens yet um, maybe the idea of going out and buying a music book is completely foreign to you like why would I waste twenty dollars or twelve dollars on a book when I could just download it for free on the internet. Uh, and there's two main points I want to say. One is when you actually go to a store or do the research online and order the book, you may need your parents' help, of course, depending on your age. You may not have a credit card and all that, so maybe doing it for free on the internet is your best option right now, and I respect that. So please understand that's not a bad idea. But why, considering to invest in a book, it's a good idea is because one you're investing time energy money in something when you spend money you're more likely to actually get something out of it because you're like man I spent twenty dollars on that it's just sitting there you know for for internet printout you're like I, you didn't buy the ink right so you're like oh print and there it is and it's hard to figure out and it's hard in your eyes because the you know it's like not bold crisp and clear and you're like if it doesn't make sense to you right off the bat, then you might give up on it and it becomes recycling or garbage or just forgotten about. But when the book, this pretty nice, well done book is sitting there on your shelf, you know, it might call your name, say, hey, you know. So treat a book, if you do buy one, treat it as something that you return to season after season, year after year, not something you have to master right away. Uh, I re mainly learned, I had some good guitar teachers, but I mainly learned from books. That's how I, I sat down in my basement and I played from my series of guitar books that I just accumulated over time. Just saved my money and bought guitar books. I bought CDs and tapes back then. That's what I spent my money on. Um, right now it's different, you know, it's not better or worse. But please consider buying guitar books of your favorite band or artist. Actually pr printed books that are well professionally done and notated and learn your favorite songs. And keep coming back to them. And in the beginning, it might not sound good. And you might have to do it 100 times before it sounds good. But that's how we learn. And that's how you get better. But every time, it's going to sound a little bit better. And that's the fun part. Okay? Print out stuff from the internet. Keep looking there. But please consider investing in your guitar playing by going out and getting some books at your local music shop or order online. And I'm not recommending my books here. I'm saying your favorite artists. Go get their books. At least one. At some point. And enjoy it. It's fun. I'm telling you. It's fun. Okay, until next time. This is John from John Have Guitar Lessons. And make guitar fun. See you next time.